thank you for attending this morning. So we're a lithium company developing a very large lithium asset in Quebec. So the usual disclaimer as we're a public company. We're trading, uh, traded on the TSX Venture under the symbol CRE. Uh, management ownership is uh, about 20% between uh, the CEO, myself, and one director. We have recently hired one of the best chemical lithium processor in the world, Mr. David Buckley. He spent his whole career between FMC Lithium and Rockwood Lithium. Left Rockwood after the merger with Albemarle. Um, and he was material to build the two largest carbonate and hydroxide plant in the world, which are currently where all the battery manufacturers are supplying, uh, are gathering their lithium from. Our CEO, Jean-Sébastien Lavallée, comes from a mining family based in Val d'Or, Quebec, from grandfathers to uncles to his father and himself, developed more than 20 mines from discovery to production, anywhere from gold, copper, nickel, moly, and now lithium. We made the discovery of this project in 2010, and we hope to move this project towards production in the next coming years. We have a current market cap of about 30, 35 million. Lithium, an interesting commodity uh, that in the last 10 years you've started to heard about. Recently, price are rising significantly. Demand is outpacing current world capacity and reach in the last quarter between $15,000 a ton to $25,000 a ton. Reason, well, different. lithium is not traded as a commodity as oil or copper. It's on contracts. So those contracts are influenced by volume, by as well the quality of the lithium you're buying different qualities for different application. Recent high demand quality, uh, the, the high new demand for lithium is for high quality, high purity for those batteries that you're buying into your iPhones, your tablet, and more and more into storage and for cars. Our economics in this presentation are based on a $6,000 per ton and basically all the analysts are forecasting well above $6,000 a ton. Why does demand is surging that much? Um, you have on the right hand side the mega factories that are building. Everyone's talking a lot about Tesla, and Tesla will be a huge factor in this chain. But LG Chem, in two, a year ago, built his own factory. And then recently, Foxconn in China came on board. Between both of them, they doubled the world demand for lithium. Tesla is coming, so you can see that the impact on the price we've seen is not to be diminished in the future years. As well, what's interesting is in the last five years, battery manufacturing costs dropped by about 66%. That's the bottom right chart. So we're getting where technology does. In the beginning, lithium batteries were costing a lot of money for little performance. When technology invests a lot of millions in a technology, drop, uh, price drops significantly and performance augments significantly. And you have the chart on the right again. You can see that now demand surpass world capacity. There's three major, four major now lithium producers in the world. A lot of them claim in the last 10 years that they can open the valve and get their production to a level where they could flood the market. Reality is they've invested billions of dollars to augment that, uh, that capacity and failed into it. The po current deposit in operation are constrained by either environmental, political decisions, uh, and as well quality. 
which is a major factor. You might have the largest lithium deposit, but you might not be able to deliver the material to the right segment, market segment. Our project is located in Quebec, so we've got one of the best mining jurisdiction in terms of permitting, in terms of financial and uh, political support. So in terms of infrastructure, we're based in James Bay, so it might sound a bit north, but we've got the power line directly on the project. The road is 200 meters from the deposit. We have a 4G communication tower. We have an airport, railway, and access to a port and a shipping uh, dock. So in terms of infrastructures, we have above $200 million worth of infrastructure that we don't need to build. We have as well an agreement with the First Nation, so diminish and reduce as well the risk of execution for future permitting. We've just announced this week uh, that we are completing our environmental impact study, so the project advice will be deposited to the federal and provincial government, and um, we're in the process to complete uh, all our feasibility, permitting, and going to project financing in the next six months. Again, the location and the shipping map. So maybe it's not so clear, but it's the Texas-shaped green spot at the top. You can see the airport of Nemisco. So it's about an hour and a half flight from Montreal. But the road goes down to Shibugamo. Shibugamo has the, ro the railway and the railway to the port at La Baie. And we can ship anywhere around the world. Bear in mind, it's not an iron ore deposit. We don't ship millions of tons. The output will be about 26,000 tons, which is about two trucks a day going up and down. So minimal cost of shipping for this project. The economics, based at $6,000 a ton, on an NPV base would give you about 488 million. The IRR after tax of the project would be, around, uh, would be 25%, and the operating income would be about 81 million in average a year. That is designed over an open pit for 17 years of mine life, and uh, just, uh, and the payback would be about four years. It's two years to build it, two years to pay it back. This is just a sensitivity chart to give you an idea of where the project would stand with higher lithium prices. We have a byproduct as well, which is tantalum, which this makes this project a unique compared to all new lithium assets. We have 20% of our income at $6,000 per ton coming from the tantalum, and the rest is the lithium. So at $15,000 a ton, which is where the bulk of the large transaction are happening right now, you would have a $2.6 billion NPV and a 92% IRR, so a very strong economics. This is the breakdown of all the uh, project. So basically, it's a small mine. It's 1.5 million tons per day, uh, per, per year mill. So in Quebec, if you take, as example, a Cisco, the Canadian Malartic mine, uh, they mill in a month what we will mill in a year. So for Quebec, that's a very standard and small operation. We've done a lot of optimization in the last year to make sure we have the best metallurgical product. So our project compared to all our peers in development, has 20% higher recoveries and about 10% better uh, purity in the end uh, for the same cost. So our cost to produce a ton is around 2,900 compared to 3,000 to $4,000 a ton for our peers. We have as well an edge. We can qualify for two large market segments the battery, but as well the glass and ceramic market. 
and there's only one lithium deposit, which is named Green Bushes in the world right now in Australia, which is purchased by the Chinese, Chenki, which produced the ceramic grade. So ceramic grade will enable us to get earlier revenue than produce the battery grade. Because in the process for the battery grade, you will crush, grind, make a concentrate with your lithium. And because of our iron content, and you can see this is the white concentrate, we don't have any iron, we can sell into the glass and ceramics. So we can generate earlier revenue in the ramp up. But the ultimate goal is to produce solely battery grade lithium. But in a ramp up, it's important to generate cash flow. This is the ceramic grade flow sheet. Our resource and our 17 year mine life is based only on 24 million uh, tons. We have above 37 million tons, so the 17 year mine life could be easily expand. So we have a lot of room. And we own a lot of large, uh, a large land package. The rose deposit is up there, but we've got a full band of pegmatites for future production if we would need to expand. So there's room for exploration, and we've started to uh, join venture some of those showing to other uh, companies. The deposit is a surface deposit, so we've drilled it out in 2011 and 12. And basically, you can see it's about 1.9 kilometer long by 900 meters, all at surface, about a thickness of 15 meters. And it's an easy mine uh, to design as an open pit. You can see the infrastructure. The power line goes right over the deposit. We've signed an offtake agreement with a large chemical company. The offtake is for 100% of our production at market price. They will take care of distribution of the material, and as well, they will come into the project financing for 25% equity at the project level. Our goal was to minimize dilution and make sure we can show the market our project will be funded, because that's the question for a lot of investors, how you're gonna be diluting us and how you're gonna put the project in production. So at an asset level of 300 million, we would get a significant check and then able to uh, get the banking facility to put the project in production. We're at boot 62. If you have any questions, please come and see us. Okay.